Hey everybody, it's Dr. Doni for this week's Wellness Wednesday. So I have a tip for you. This came up yesterday with a family that was in the office getting adjusted. And a little girl, I think she's about eight, um, she grabbed her dad's phone and she was you know, playing a game or whatever on the phone. So we had a little discussion about posture and how to use the phone properly. So if you're listening to this, is the phone level with your eyes or are you looking down at the phone? So I'm sure you can guess what this little girl was doing. She was looking down like this. So we discussed how we can make it like kind of like a family rule. If you're gonna use the cell phone, it has to be done at good posture. And that's the rule now going forward in this family, which I think is really cool. Because not only is it gonna help her with her posture and with her success with her adjustments, but it's talking about posture at home. And so the more you talk about it and raise awareness, the more kids do something different. It's also setting her up to use healthy cell phone habits forever. She starts this as a kid, she'll use it forever because it'll just be her habit. So like literally, she's not allowed on the phone unless it's in eye level. So now, if she's just sitting around here and you're going like this, eventually your arms are gonna get sore. So, which is maybe a sign to get off the phone. But, <laughs> what another thing you could do is you could be at a table, so, or a desk or something where you're resting your elbows on the desk and then you're using your phone that way. Or if you're sitting on a couch, you could put some pillows under your elbows, rest your elbows and look at it this way. But I think this was a really cool concept um, for families to have and just again to teach about the importance of posture and create a good habit for them So I encourage you to talk to your kids about this make this a rule if you want to be on the phone You gotta have good posture awesome. So uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time